Hello and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Last time we defeated the master of the castle, which was not, surprise of all surprises, the end of the game. Instead, now we have the entire castle to go back through again, but now upside down, rotated 180 degrees. So the library that was on the east side of the castle is now on the west side of the upside down castle, and that is our next main destination. And so we'll do a bit of exploring on the way there, but for the most part, one of the benefits of having all the abilities and everything available to us is there's not a whole lot of go here, then go back, then go there, then go back over here, then back there, then back this way, back that way, and then back the other way. You can most, for the most part, you can traverse this whole castle and get the full exploration done on your first trip through all the different areas. So this actually tends to go a little faster than the right side up castle. So, we'll see how well this goes. Alright, and this should be where I don't want to go yet because I need, still need to explore to the right before I head out. This should be... this was where the cursed sword was originally. This should be the lightning mail. And we're just going to unlock this room for fast travel. But I will show, so the CD symbol for changing is now flipped over. It's on the floor, but the word CD are still writes that up. Now remember the rocks that were in the teleporter rooms in the right side up castle? Well, you got to get it to the teleporter somehow. But I don't have any teleporters unlocked on this side of the map. So we're stuck in here. A little platform. Near as I can tell, that platform is broken and is what goes, comes with you in the form of little pebbles in the right side up castle. So it's a weird detail that they did that the rocks were broken. Jumping tombstones up there. Just sort of flying along up here till we get to where we're going. Do, 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 do. Which is this right here. And all the same secrets and broken walls and everything from the right side up castle are also in the upside down castle. So, everything we traversed originally has to be done again. But. ball no idea like I think I've used it and you literally just like chuck a ball out in front of you on the ground hello giant Bob a little bit. Gotta fill this in while I'm here. And down. Last little bit up here. Okay, now we need to go back into here. See, the magic meter just um, about 40% down there. All right, this is where we're going now. Now there was a mini boss here before, the dude that turned into a bunch of birds when he died. Now we have one of the classic Castlevania villains, the giant bat. What's up, Darkwing? Come on, let's get dangerous. He's not that bad. If he gets in the right spot, he starts blowing his, wing, his uh, wings and making a wind that knocks you across the room. Now, if you played Castlevania 2, you might recognize this item and some of the other items that we're going to get from beating bosses now. This is the Ring of Vlad in the Curse. Simon's Curse, I think it was, was the name of Castlevania 2. For whatever reason, I don't know why the plot had you reassemble 
Vlad's rib and his like his eyeball and his ring and some other things to bring Dracula back and you had to collect all the pieces to him which I never got straight maybe I didn't read the instruction manual but I couldn't understand why you were trying to reassemble Dracula if it was just to break the curse on you somehow I like I, I never got that part but regardless all the same items that you had to assemble in the cursed game you now have to assemble now and they're all just relic boosts but you need them all I believe before the end oh good lord bomby bomby things holy cow those things damage for a ton which is gonna be the way things go in the upside down castle everything is so much stronger and hits a lot harder it's you really have to be on your game so you will see me taking large bits of damage a lot because it's hard to avoid sometimes. Mist is your friend. But it can't solve everything. Yet. So a lot of times I'll just be checking the map to make sure that I get the completion and then flying on. Sweet. But you can't throw bombs at me. You fool. You foolish fool. Only now do you realize the folly of your folly. You're too tall. Yeah. We got okay. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. The door is up there, so this is just map completion. There's no secret here, right? No. Okay. Like, even the item, the torches and stuff carry mostly the same items in them. I think that gap you have to be a bat to get through. I don't think you can actually make that jump. Alright, uh, we're back in this room. But there's these guys. Oh, no, give me my daggers back. Don't give me that crummy bottle. Let's see, remember? Secret room. Same place. Art, money. And one of these dudes in here again. Q, sword guy. And he's back again already. Oop, there he is. Can't, can't get out without turning into a bat and flying out. So they really count on you to have mastered all of the transformations to get around in this castle, which is kind of cool. Like, I appreciate that they trust you to have gotten good at the game and know what's available to you. No. Ugh, so easy to get knocked back into the room of that spot. Okay. We need to kill all the things in this room. So I can turn off my sword, buddy. And by all the things, I mean just these dudes. Because holy cow, there's a ton. Come on. Come on down. Oh, I need the mirror to rest on. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Good lord. Alright, where are you? Thank you. See, now, like, all the Medusa heads now are the stoning kind. Not just, like, one out of every three or four, like there were in the old tower. So they upped the game just a bit. Alright, is everything dead? Is that the end of those guys? Okay. Sword guy. Thank you. I'll call you back in a minute. Clickety click. Just... Nope, you 
there. Do I click? I'll find out when I come back. Ah, I missed it. That one's actually easiest to do last because then you can ah, still too long. Because then you can see and hear the door open because it's also the, it's the hardest one to get because of its positioning there. swords so I can drop down and take these things on when they lower out. Yep. Alright, now we're good. Boom boom boom. Boom. That was a click, I think. Pretty sure it was a click. I didn't hear boom, so I'm assuming it was a click. Ah! That was definitely a click. Alright. Let's see. Nope, okay, so this one still must be... Okay. That was definitely a click. Are you open now? You don't look open. Oh crap, now I gotta go check. Okay, so that was a click. Frickin' sword. Medusa heads. Oh my god, this one's so very much. Alright, come join me down on the ground. I'm not gonna get the bottle. Ow! Nope! Oh, come on! God, I hate it so much. Who's that? Heaven Sword. I don't, I don't remember ever getting that before. Not as good. Enchanting Floating Sword. I'll put that on in a little while and play with it, but not right now. Right now, what I need. Since nobody's attacking me at the moment. I need some food. Let's do... I have no idea what's actually worthwhile. 22 health, okay. Seriously. Uh, let's throw out some... Nuts. Did they catch? Alright, well that was pointless. Okay. Peanuts, bad idea. Pork bun! Let's eat the pork bun. 17 health. Alright, that should keep me going for a while. Where's my shield? Way up where I dropped, picked up the other food. Seriously, come on. Oh my god, I hate this place so much. Stop it. And I'm almost dead. I just healed. Holy cow. You. Oh my god, I hate this place so very much. Why are you more of you? Okay. Yeah, that was a click. I mean, I don't know what the status of that one is since they knocked me out of this whole tower. So I'm gonna go clear these things and make sure that I've got them right. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Come on, drag all these guys with me. Everybody, come on down. I'm giving you the high ground. Don't you dare knock me out of this room. You know what? Say hello to my little friend. Sorry, guy, you're off the bench. Of course, now they all line up perfectly for me to attack them because I let, brought the sword in just get them off. Boom, boom. That's a boom. Another boom. Another boom. Another boom. 
Boom. Boom. That was a click. Boom. 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 Click. Oh my god. Bloody hate this. Sunstone. So, the advantage of the good thing, the only real benefit of coming in here besides the map completion, is that when the sun goes down, or comes up rather, excuse me, you can switch to the sunstone and get all the same benefits that you had wearing the moonstone. So, these are such awesome items because they provide across the board stat increases, and day or night, now you have an option to take care of them. Okay, how's my magic? Alright, good. Because I am not messing around to get out of this place. No jokes about them missing missing me. Nothing. We're just getting the heck out of Dodge. And we're also getting back on our sword, buddy. Fly out the door before magic runs out. Okay. Now magic has to refill, and we still have to explore above that in that same stupid tower. But I want my mist for that, so we're going to come down here and deal with down here for a little bit. I love how even the mountains in the background are upside down with me. lower on health than I thought. There should be an axe, yeah. Okay. Now there is Alucard's original helm just sort of sitting there. No boss fight, it's just sitting there in a the room. Not sure who put it there or why. But it's as good a armor as any. Okay. I don't know where the nearest save spot is off the top of my head. At least not that we're going to be able to get to. Eat a couple of hot dogs here. Find my shield. See, I'm sure there's like some of these things I could probably have used at various times in the game to make life easier or do something specific. I don't know. I don't ever bother to use them. I prefer just to rely on straight up skill in the game rather than specific weapons to use. And I say that now, there will be a boss later where I just cheese the boss because you can kill him without taking a spot of damage or moving on the screen at all. You can just kill him if you do it the right way. So we're flying across, and again, we're eating into our magic a little bit, just by virtue of being a bat. So what I'm going to do is explore this. I'm going to sit here a moment, and I'm not going to make you wait on it. I'm going to cut to when I have magic so that I can go down through that room and explore the rest of that clock tower. So I'll see you in just a second. And we're back. That was nice timing that it just magically gave me all the rest of my magic back after I already had it full. So thanks for that game. Now there's one easier way to do that last room, but it requires you to already have a particular magic item or an ability that I don't have yet, and to come back to this area after obtaining it, and I just, you know, wrong buttons. 
it's just not worth the time it takes to go get that thing and then come back just to go back and get that one item and that or that one room luminous strength potions so there's some stuff up there we gotta go sort of swing through and pick up no giant bob skulls here Save a little bit of magic there. Yeah, your magic is sometimes a bit of a premium when you're exploring and have to do a lot of flying around to make things work. So on the right side up castle, these bridges collapsed underneath you and dropped you down here. Now they are a bit more stable apparently when they're in their upside down form. Architecturally, I don't think that works, but there's a lot about this castle that doesn't work architecturally, when you really think about it. I advise you not to think about it, though. Alright, we are back to the outer wall. And a save. Now our goal here is the library. Not just for completion, not just for particular items that you can find as your regular exploration, but for a very specific enemy and a very specific weapon. That is a drop from that enemy, an unfortunately small percentage of the time. Kind of annoying, but, and you can get through the game regularly without it, first one or two or three or I don't know how many times I beat this game, I did not have the sword that I'm after. And it's fine. But the sword is so ridiculously awesome that ever since I found it by accident, because, you know, I wasn't obviously farming for it the first time I found it. It was a random drop that I got as a rare drop off of a perfectly normal playthrough playing style, nothing special about it, and I wasn't killing a ton of the things, so I found it just completely, hey thanks sword guy, completely by accident, and decided to try it out, and discovered what I believe is the most OP and ridiculously powerful weapon in the game, and hopefully we will find it without too much difficulty. I guarantee it's going to take me a little while, so when we get there I will show what is required to get it, and then either speed it up, cut it out entirely, or a little of both, because it might take me a while. And that's the bad guy right there, the shmoo. And the key is that I have to be able to kill them quickly, so that I have to be strong enough take them on in one at most two hits. One, we're good. And this is the spot right here. You just hop in, kill a shmoo, and back out if he does not drop what I want him to drop. Now the problem is muscle memory. Because you do this a few dozen times and he drops something and you immediately do that and skate back out of the room and then scream in frustration as the ridiculously rare item drops on the ground and you leave it in the room behind you when you leave. Now the other good thing is that schmoos have really great XP and this is an awesome spot for leveling yourself and more importantly, sword guy. So this will take a little while and we're just gonna speed things up. Ah, <sighs> there may be some of that, what is the, that song? The, whatever that thing is, that may get played in the background. It's playing in the background of my head sometimes. The other problem with this is that a lot of times when you go to grab it, he hits you and will knock you back into the room behind you. When you go to try and pick up the thing, I have watched more than one of these weapons pass me by because I rushed in and got hit by that stupid pogo stick dead person and knocked back out of it into the previous room. Again, screaming in frustration as the weapon I want it lies on the floor. 
So, but rel relatively quickly, at least, Sword Guy will level up, and he can start doing enough damage to kill things in the room by himself, so that's more XP being earned on the side. If this were more interesting, and there were more to talk about at this point, I would keep doing some form of commentary here, and then it would, so it would sound like a chipmunk when I sped it up, and it would be highly entertaining. But, unfortunately, it's mostly just that. And see, he knocked me back. But, fortunately, there wasn't anything there. But that is a prime example of what will happen if I'm not careful. Because his reach, that dead body of his, reaches just far enough that if you stay on the ledge, he will get you. So you have to do that when you see it. You drop down into the room very quickly to keep safe from being knocked back. But you have to recognize that that is the time to do it. Because you can't do it every time because this would take 10 billion times longer. Possibly only like 6 times longer, I'm not sure of the math, but 10 billion feels a little more accurate based on how long it takes sometimes. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of this cut out because, oh my god, shoo, be nice to me. I will stop killing you in mass if you are kind and drop the weapon, please. That's gold. Appreciate the level. So, let me see here. Not down. So, guys, level 18. Let's see just how high he is by the end of this. Okay, you can't kill the lion, dude. So, this room has quite a few drops that are possible. Food, it will drop some money, it will drop hearts, of course, it will drop bigger bags of money and little bags of money and single coins of money, and then lots and lots of thin air. So, like, I'm not intentionally grinding levels here, with the exception of that the first five minutes of the game when I attacked the wolf outside the castle a bunch of times and got three whole levels. I don't grind in this game at all. This is the closest thing to a grind, and it's I'm trying for one specific stupid thing. It just has such a horrible drop rate, and the bad guy gives such good XP that my levels grind up. I would be just as happy if they would just give me the sword, and then I could leave and go on my way. Lower level, perhaps, than grinding for an extra half hour to an hour to two hours, which has happened before. But having this sword makes the entire castle so ridiculously easy, and especially makes probably the hardest boss in the game really easy, and the final boss in the game really easy. It is a such a powerful weapon. Every now and then I see something fall and I've already pushed the slide back button and I panic. Ooh. Get some soup or some rum or something like that. And I want his blue. I think. Cool. I'm gonna slow down a little bit before I hit that slide button. Give my brain an extra half a second to process what fell for grabbing in. Oh. Oh, come on. So, if you're playing, it is entirely up to you whether you want to spend this time. Like I said, it makes everything else in the game super easy, but it is ridiculously time-consuming if you don't get lucky. Oh, good. Sword guy can kill lions now. Cool. Ah! No! That's it. So, he knocked me out of the room. He knocked me out of the room. That was it. That's what happens right there. <sighs> Welcome to shoe farming. God. Every time. I don't know that I've ever gotten this thing on the first try like, and not missed it at least once when they drop it. <sighs> I hate this thing. Like, I, I don't even think I missed it because I did the wrong thing. I think I just wasn't paying attention and then got caught by the stupid scarecrow with bad timing. Come on, Shmoo. Yes, I know you gave it to me once, but you know how this goes. Do it again. Thanks for the extra XP, sword guy. That is just... Irritating. I watched. I did it one time where I got the drop twice in a row and missed it. Like I, I don't even know the odds of that happening. It's already, It's such low odds to get it once. To get it twice in a row and miss it both times. Oh, I, I, I damn near threw 
something across the room or something. That was just so frustrating. of something you kill, the less XP it actually gives you. Like, it takes a while before you cross the threshold, but yeah, Shmoo's give quite a bit of XP, So it's not, but it's not just the fact that I'm going up levels and it takes more XP to go up level to level. I believe the Shmoo's actually give slightly less XP the more of them I kill. I think. That could be for the sword, not for me, I don't know. Kill those lying things, poor guy. Okay. The problem is the, the timing to do this as quickly as possible and efficiently to get out of the room again is such that you're already reaching for the slide back button, which is the where's the Y button on the on the Xbox, the yellow button. You're already reaching for it and pushing it by the time the game has processed what the item is and dropping, and so you either have to slow down and it takes longer because of that, or you have to be really good with the reflexes to not hit that slide when you see the item you want drop. In this case, you actually have to then walk forward when you see that item drop to avoid getting hit by the frickin' Pogo Man. So instead of like farming the rapier that I did earlier, only you know, there's only one of these per screen instead of the three Durons or whatever the headless dudes in the library. So you only have one chance per screen, but at least the dude's right here. And he's even charging you, so... Get in there. So this is about as good a spot as any to farm up XP for your sword as well. So like I said, we'll check what this level is when we're all done with this, but... It'll be higher than it would have been if I had gotten that sword that first time. What I need to do is just... Oh, sword guy just... Disappeared. Because he got an upgrade. You have grown mighty, my master. I grant you my power. I don't know what level it is that he gets that upgrade, but he's obviously there. <sighs> Thanks to the incessant schmooze. At this point, I'm not sure where to put the one, my money. Oh, Sword got his next upgrade. Now he does not swish and spin. Now he flies around and swoops and does that. Which again, can be kind of cool. Be done with this by the time he got that upgrade. <sighs> oh! Sword dude, I love you. You just saved me from getting knocked backwards and missing it again. Got the sword! Okay. <sighs> Bloody hell. See, there's my sword familiar. He is strong. 126 attack power on that dude. He's awesome. Great attack. And it's one-handed, so you don't lose your shield. It's fantastic. But, where is it? Okay, that's the heaven sword that I picked up, the floating thing. Oh, crud, it put it somewhere in the middle, filling in a, there it is. Chrysagrim. Chrysagrim, no idea how they would pronounce that. So it's already an attack bonus over what I have now. But the joy and beauty of this sword is this. 
It's like having a force field of death that projects out in front of you. As long as you don't walk too fast through something that doesn't die right away. It is ridiculously awesome. And like I say, totally worth all the effort that it takes to get it. And at this point, I'm just trying to find a save point so I can end this video and start a new one and it won't be 8 million hours long. So here we come to a save point. So I will be cutting out just about all of that, but to give you some indication, the video time now is at about an, an hour and 12. So everything longer than what the length of this video actually is by the time I'm done, up to an hour and 12 minutes, that's how long it took me to get that stupid sword for the second time since I missed the first one before it finally dropped it for me again. And thank God for the sword familiar and his timing of killing that stupid pogo stick thing again. Because I, I would have gotten knocked back out of the room yet again if he hadn't done that. So I'm going to end this video here and start a new one so this video is of a normal length. So thank you for joining me and I'll see, we'll see what that video looks like by the time I'm done with it. But now we get to experience the awesomeness that is this sword for the rest of the playthrough. So thank you. Hope everybody's having a good day, and again, I hope anybody who plays this has better luck than I did with that sword. Bye.